I think it's always just important to try and stay healthy in your mm. brain and your mind and your body if you can. And wherever that takes you, I think the added pressure of feeling like you need to look a certain way, mm -hmm. I don't think that's necessarily true because my first job, I saw absolutely not that. I saw a complete variation of shapes, sizes, backgrounds, um, even like abilities in air in the areas you know you didn't have not everyone was a prima ballerina mm. like some people couldn't you know some people couldn't tap like yeah. you it's i think that s certain projections are made or certain things are projected on uh, onto students and again a lot of it is like a lot of like you say there like that thing of you oh you know a lot of people will go to that when you say you're in theater oh you need to stay in shape and mm. you need to sit and it's like yeah like it's good to say fit because of just, if you look at the maths or the science of it all, you need to perform, you know, you're going to need to be physical for this many nights a week. You're going to need to look after your body so you don't get ill and go off because of that. And maybe you need to make sure that you're not having, you know, you're not drinking this much or you're sleeping, trying to get as much sleep as you can, keeping your diet to a good thing, but still enjoying yourself and, and having a good life. And, mm. but you know, there are roles, theater is life. It's meant to be life. It's meant to be, yes, an extension of, of real life. So the real life is not everyone is, it looks like they've just walked out of a men's fitness magazine or what have you, you know? Yeah, of course, so, yeah. Um, and yeah, I think it's just important. And like I'll stress probably several times in this conversation, I do think it comes down to an individual analysis of just being honest with yourself and going, look, how do I feel? It's not, I, and I think it's less about how you look. I think truly it's about how you feel. Forget about how you look. When you wake up in the morning and you get up and you breathe and you drink a glass of water and you get moving, how do you feel? Are you aching? Do you have a headache? Always have a headache. You know, is something stopping you achieving that goal? And if it is and if it can be changed by diet, routine, habits, then look for an option and see if you can. But do it for you and do it because individually you can tell yourself you're not feeling good. Because... We all know, I know, I know when I'm doing too much of stuff. Like I, like, I try my best to live in moderation because I feel like generally you can do most things as long as you're being careful and doing them in moderation mm -hmm. and keeping them in a, in a good value system, making sure you value the right things. But yeah, but, but I know that, that seems like a deep question no, to no, keep no, it in shape, no, but no, that's course. a big thing that a lot, you know, mm. it's, it's still a topic that floats around these days that I think it's just important to when you walk in that room, for your audition, to know that you feel healthy and ready. Mm. And the correct mindset. Good mindset. Clear, you're concentrating on that specific yeah. job. Absolutely. And just being honest with yourself and just knowing like, and, and God, just again, leading on from this, just talking about going into the audition room as well. It's just, mm. it's just again, being a bit more individual helps in those times, really going into yourself a bit more, understanding that looking at what you've done, comparison is a thief of joy. If you, can if you compare yourself to people in that room, in the lead up, you can't. You have to just know, look, what have my peers told me I need like do? What has worked for other successful mm -hmm. people? 